everybody. This is my little friend Joshy. He's my little baby number five. He's a sweet boy. He's a very good boy and he's a good helper. And he's going to help me talk to you about all kinds of things for the summertime that we need for the summer. We have got um, six babies. I've got, there's a few running around. There's Skyly and Lily's up under the, the play place. And then Jake and Riley and Allie and Joshy and me. And so we're going to talk about, we're at the park today because it is summertime and it is beautiful outside today. And we're going to be spending a whole lot of time outside. We are people of outdoors and we love it. But there's also things in the outdoors that you, um, and when you're going on your summer travels and everything, that you definitely have to make sure that you do not forget and that you do not lose or not have with you. So that's what we're going to talk about today is what you need for your children to help help keep your kids safe and to keep everybody healthy throughout your summer. Now this is my little pile. These are little must that we have that stay with us all the time no matter what. Okay, I'm sorry I've got little spots all over my camera. My camera broke the other day. Um, anyway, we um, always have to have these. This is my most favorite at night time when everybody gets kind of ornery. Then, of course, this goes on everybody. And after you've had a really long day, especially if you've gone to the pool or you've gone to the beach or you've gone anywhere or you're just at home and everybody's tired of being at home and you're tired of everybody being at home, this is awesome. <laughs> just rub a little bit on a wrist, on the bottom of the feet, put it on their forehead. There's lots of little blood vessels at the front, forefront of your forehead. Great place to put it. I even put it on the crown up here on top. Works great. Um, baby girl, oh my goodness, she goes out like a light with that. Awesome, awesome stuff. For you, for mommies who everybody's at home and you're about tired of everybody being home from the summer, this is a must. I can't turn it the right way. I can't. Well, I think it's backwards. But this is awesome. It's a must have. This is a every day of my life since my six kids and we homeschool have to have it. It's a, it's a must every day. And of course, whenever anything, um, by the time you've been outside and all of the dirt and the dust and all the grime that's around everywhere, everywhere um, and you got all the dust flying and everybody's noses get kind of like you get cloggy because you've been out in that dust and everything all day, this is awesome. You know, I just rub it on necks when we get home, rub it on before you go to bed and it helps open everybody's heads up and everything. And of course, if you get tired muscles because everybody's exhausted from swimming or they're exhausted from their playing outside, I mean, I, mine start running outside and going crazy and then they get tired and sore muscles. So we rub a little bit of this on everybody's feet before they go to bed and it helps so much to help everybody to relax and to feel better. It is wonderful. Okay. I'm going to give y'all a couple of little recipes of things that I do on a regular basis during the summertime because I do not like all the chemicals, all the nasty chemicals that are in the sunscreens and all the nasty stuff that's in the bug sprays. If I'm going to spray something on my kids, then I don't want it to be chemicals that are going to be damaging their bodies and causing more problems. So I want to I make my own bug spray and I make my own, but we're going to be talking about, someone else is going to be talking about bugs and pests and stuff. So I'm not going to really spend a whole lot of time on that, but I do make my own that we use on the kids. And I use this little book, see this, uh, Chemical Free Home. This is number two, and there's also a number one, the, re the first one. And these are by uh, Melissa Pe Pepe. And they're awesome. I mean, they have got everything from laundry detergent, deodorant, and a purse sprint, um, fruit and veggie soak, um, ways to clean your house. I mean, everything, everything that you could possibly think of it has. And uh, so I use these to make everything out of. I mean, like shampoo even. I mean, there's like stuff for your kids, for everything that you would have to use for washing their hair, cleaning their clothes. And all of it works, and it works great. I make my own um, Young Living Cells um, clothes detergent, but I like to make my own as well. Sometimes I'll buy it in the in the jug, and then sometimes I make my own, especially if I forget that I didn't put it on my ER order. 
then of course I make my own and it works fabulous love it love it love it um, but right now we're going to talk about life kids and especially I mean I know a lot of schools have had issues with this over the past couple of months especially so that's one reason I wanted to touch on that even though we're out of school now kids are still having spin up parties they're still together all the time and they're sharing stuff constantly so we don't want to share the lies so that's what um, I'm going to tell you a little recipe it's extremely easy I was going to try to make it but sitting here it's a little bit difficult so um, all you have to use now I have the solid coconut oil you can use liquid you can use either one it does not matter but you're going to take two tablespoons of the coconut oil six drops of lavender which is awesome and six drops of the tea tree oil now this is also called melaleuca so if you see melaleuca it's the same thing as tea tree um, so just to let you know because I used to confuse me to death and then peppermint uh, six drops of peppermint put it all in a four ounce bottle and you can mix half water put, take the four ounces put two ounces of water and then two ounces of witch hazel shake it all up and then um, you'll just mix all of that together now have the oil in it the oil is going to help lice can't stick to something that's greasy so that's why like kids who um, either like braid their hair and um, like put or they don't wash your hair every day so it's like real greasy hair it, they don't stick to it so well so it's not as likely for kids with nasty hair to get lices but I know that sounds crazy crazy but usually if they're gonna find the good clean hair that and they'll ooh, a bug, see, and uh, they'll get a lance around your ears and around the back of your neck and stuff like that so it's nasty I hate lice for anything and so that is one of those things that you want to prevent so that's a great it works it works awesome so um, I've had several friends here lately having to use it for lice and it works um, the other thing that I'm gonna tell you about is the sunscreen this is actually in a roll-on bottle and it's extremely easy I mean it takes like two seconds to make it is two ounces of coconut oil now this you can leave it now sometimes I'll put it in a tub and use the hard coconut oil put it somewhere cool so where it's going to stay hardened and put um, 20 drops of carrot seed carrot seed is a natural sunscreen so it works great and then you put 10 drops of lavender in with it and you mix it all up put it in a tub and you can leave it in the hard form now in this particular one in my roll on I did almond oil with the lavender and the carrot seed and it works great um, to put on your face to use if you're just going outside and like from your neck up and I keep it in my purse and you can just roll it on everybody wherever you're at and it's really really easy so you're not having to worry about um, having a spray bottle when you're out now I do put it in a spray bottle like this sometimes too and I can just spray it on everybody and just rub it on everywhere or you can do the hard so you can choose whichever way you want to it's extremely easy I mean it takes two seconds to make we went to a pool party last year and before I went I went ahead and mixed it all up I mean, like within five seconds I mean like put it all together ran out the door and uh, it was funny because I put some on the biggest girl and she was a little bit aggravated because she didn't want me rubbing her face and everything so she had like streaks across her face so she had red and white and she was all splotchy <laughs> because she didn't let me rub it all in real good so it was really funny but it does work I mean the kids I've never had them get burned with using it and it's awesome the last um, couple of little things we're gonna talk about these hand cleaner is a must have to have it and um, thief spray keep it in your purse take it everywhere you go when you're in public bathrooms or wherever you're at you have to have it it is those places are nasty nasty germ filled grossy places so make sure you always have that on hand and I keep these just in case and I put it in the diffuser inside the car so after we're done then you can just diffuse it all in the car and then everything smells good when you got those nasty stinky sweaty bodies after you've been outside all day and you have to get back in the car like we're going to be doing in a little bit it's gonna be nasty so stick a little bit of these in there make the car smell fresh and feel really good again and then of course you've always got purification because with a football player and a basketball player they smell raunchy so we put a little bit in their shoes we put a little bit in their bags we spray it all over the van because they are gross after we get through with practice or a game or something 
and even during the summertime, I mean, we've still got baseball going on. I mean, if you've got kids that are in any kind of sports anytime or they're just outside playing and they're stinky, purification is a must. Have to have it. So, I hope you've enjoyed learning about all the kids' stuff and all of the things that we use for the summertime that are must that you have to have. And I hope y'all enjoy the class, and we will talk to you soon.